both screens are full. That's fine. We should at least get to chapter the act three, so we should be fine. Right, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Just rev Give Cow a second, Jack. Ah, fine. Yeah. He's, he's trying to sort shit out. Oh, you said hi, okay. <laughs> I love that I now get two notifications on Discord that I'm live. Okay, some 79 is live and then the dumbass is live! <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as... As soon as you have to leave, I'll just switch to our worlds. <laughs> oh, I learned. <coughs> I learned this morning how to win the "I love you" with um, with your partner. You know the whole "I love you, I love you more" co competition. You wait. Like, with your partner, when you say, like, I love you, and then it turns into this whole contest of who loves each other more. I, fa I found out how to win in the best way. So you so you win, and then you say, and now I give my win to you, because I don't need to win. Ha <laughs> ha! Great for me, but oh, does Starfield have like a? Wait, have we looked for like a colorblind filter mod? Yeah, like a shattered space rem um, replacer. Oh, 
The creator of Audrey just just posted a mod. Oh, I shouldn't have been looking at Bethesda.net. Fuck. Scarfs for any spacesuit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't copy image. Discord. Have a look at this. You sure? Okay, I could just start it. I will never. Uh, uh, uh. The game is finally fun. I will never not want to do a star build. And I, f uh, I finally figured out why our load orders break and how to fix them. You disable them instead of delete them. Oh, we were so stupid. <laughs> It works a treat, doesn't it? Oh, for fuck! So I might get that scarf now that stuff works. I'm still not gonna let Jack mod though, because it's you still need to know how. <laughs> Yeah, you're basically changing the code, and like it, 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 it just doesn't put it all back. Which is why it broke random things instead of the thing that you were changing. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, I'm just turning into a Starfield channel. <laughs> I got no issue with that, but... <laughs> Starfield is so fun now. Yep. Alright, so let me go to my menu. Let me grab that Audrey Star scarf. I did send you a picture in Discord of the scarf. I might put it underneath um, the Gravis suit because that's what Audrey's wearing. Wait, what? Why is Shad Space here? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, luxurious ship hubs, yeah. Whoa. Nice home. Wow. Only problem is, does, does, does it have. I don't think it has like workshops or any of the useful ones. Does it? Oh yeah, that's very purple, isn't it? No, I mean, I'm I'm looking at shared space at the moment. That the sky is.
It's mainly you're not going to enjoy looking at the sky, isn't it? Uh, I will have a look. It can be retextured by any mod that texture. Oh, it's Delgado Scarf. Hmm. Oh, it shows two for me. If you want to edit for other basics. Yeah, I'm sure it would. I'm. I'm sure it'll fit other spacesuits. Ah, okay. Yeah, you have <laughs> You're finally finding out. It's... Oh! Oh, clothing. I thought that was an armor one. Has Zone 79 made any new ones? No, that does look cool though. Oh, you'd like that because it looks all like Sithy, some of them. The Varun X clothing mod. Probably bookmark it. There we go. This I really want. But I can't get it because, well, I can't put it on the current game. Hello, Empress. How you doing? Um, because I'm pretty sure if you put replaces, it removes the clothing entirely. Because that's what it did with the security. Damn, I went from two to four. I'm doing good. How are you doing, Empress? Oh, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Didn't see that, shall we? Unless I did and I already answered it. I don't know. My head's all over the place. <sighs> Open Twitch. I've started using like my iPhone 6 for like the stream manager so I can still use my phone. <laughs> I've got like a old iPhone 6 that still works, but I just doing well, thank you. That's good, good to hear. Error loading the feed, and this is why I upgraded this phone. It's a terrible. Uh, no, I haven't even completed the game once yet. Didn't even know there was crew members in New Game Plus, that's cool. Oh! Is this your first playthrough? Um, no, it's not my first playthrough. Uh, I played it when it first came out, when it was unmodded. 
and just lost interest. And then I got pretty far on a modded playthrough and then that load order broke and this is the my first actually stable load order so I can actually play it now. Finally figured out how to mod this game, it just took forever. Oh no, Ron Hope is dead. Third or fourth playthrough. Yeah, I think that's. I think it was like my third or fourth time going to the lodge. It's definitely not my third or fourth playthrough because Barrett kept breaking, didn't he? Yeah, it's it it's definitely a learning curve. My stream manager even gonna. But I've got a lot of mods that like check that change in the game pass, which is funny and funny. Why are you quit staring? Never mind. Should have known downloading a new mod wouldn't wouldn't like it. I added a new mod and I can lose any of my loot or point everything that I've built there. Yeah, he like he skipped leg and arm day. Ah, that's why it didn't want it. It keeps getting me to I updated Twitch Monday. Why don't I have another update? He's no, no, no. You gotta go. Oh no. Right. Yeah, sure. No. <laughs>
Uh, what do you... F it depends how much... How... Depends how long do you want for it. Depends how long you want for Baldur's Gate and then I can, I can work around that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now, got to remember the mods that I got to disable, so it's... Oh, it's that one. That one. That one. Scarf's broke it. Good to know. And then that one. Should be... Yeah! Yeah, that's a little... Um character I made for her. Bum, 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 bum. <sighs> oh yeah, Empress, for context, I'm not talking to myself, I am talking to Cal. She can't hear us. <laughs> Yeah. No, I was just saying to Empress is like just for context. I, I'm 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 not talking to myself. I am talking to you. <laughs> um, no, nah, she's in like a education. Hmm. Me and Cal stream sometimes. We are going to be streaming together sometimes. We are going to be doing Baldur's Gate in what? Two and a half hours? Yeah, I'd say about two and a half hours. Um, the latest investigation hinged upon the depositions of three yeah, no, she's not got. She's not in a situation where she can stream. Okay, good. They're back. Situation sorted. What am I doing? Talk to Clover. Nice. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I can tell you. Hold on, let me let me meet my mic and then I can check them thing for you. Okay, testing, testing, testing. Let me know if uh it's choppy or if it's if it's good or not yeah it's me hi i am Chris. No, that's good oh awesome just good 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 <laughs> you can tell mr okadibo that i'm doing everything awesome awesome Blood from a stone, if you'll pardon the expression. About three minutes I'll be allowed to turn on my camera. Yay. Oh. oh. I'm afraid I've stepped right into it again. Damn. You aren't here. Ah, another good accent. Dead, to Kelcor. 
Oh, this is so embarrassing. Want another fake Bethesda accent, you mean? Is that what you mean? <laughs> Bethesda shitty attempt at an accent. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think he's afraid. But I won't be here. And he'll have to deal with me, father. Someone who has a lot less patience than I do. Just a few weeks ago, he paid some poor fella to come up here and request a bit more time to pay back his debt. That's why I snapped at you like that. I like the mole on I... her chin. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of you. This mess with Mr. Okadiba over at the Neon Mining League has really thrown me off my game. What's the Neon Mining it's League? It's a shop over in Ikuchi Market. You know, the plaza next to Ryujin Tower? They sell all sorts oh. of mining supplies and raw materials. It's a fine little shop. Well stocked and immaculate. Mr. Okadibo is the mm. owner. He's a lovely, lovely man. But his aspirations are one grav jump longer than his business instincts. Must be a hell of a mess to call such a fast thing. only you knew. Mr. Okadibo owes a substantial debt to Keltcore. I've given uh. him more than enough time to try and come up with the money. My father's patience is running out. Frankly, I don't know how much longer I can stall. So you're in charge of the Cult Corp Neon for office? Now, but let's not mistake my position for what it really is. A test set out by my father. He's set to retire in a few years, and I'm his only next of kin. But I'm guessing he's not sure if I'm ready to take over the company. So he shuts right. me up here for two reasons. One, to flash a friendly face for our clients who flies out here as a perk. And two, gets his firebrand of a daughter as far away from him as possible. He's a real piece of work. Should I call you Chloe or Clover? Because my father has a ridiculous sense of humor, and I can't stand the name Clover. I mean, seriously, Clover? Our family's Irish, for God's sake. I don't think he could have possibly been more on the nose with that name. Ha -ha, yeah, I knew she was trying dad. to do an Irish accent. <laughs> Why don't you tell me a bit about your father? Trying being the operative the word. The whole mm. blessed thing Trying is the operative the word, yes. He started the company with next to nothing and built it into a mega Give me a second. in under 30 years. Truth is, he tends to forget the multi million credit trust he tapped into as a crutch. But that's my father for you. Just trying to set things up. Bam, bam. How's that camera position first? What the fuck? I just Ooh, found a geez. random patron in the bar in the six in the uh, in the lower Sidonia bar. The fucking Andresia's uh, outfit on. I thought that was unique to her. Well, that's that that's cool. Yeah. Didn't mean that was possible. That's kind of cool. Right, is it... Sweet. It's switched. Always gonna make sure it switches to the webcam. Oh yeah, it looks good. You look tired, like, you dude. Don't... Like, you, look you, don't huh? you look paler than normal. You look like... Drained. I'm fine. Okay. Making sure you're okay. It pays the bills. You'd be willing to help out. That's awfully kind of you. It's kind of you to stick up for me first place. Doesn't mean I don't have a heart. I mean, Mr. Okadibo. He's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, especially in this city. He I want to go meet him then. But he's too proud to accept right, why can't I get my stream manager to work on this damn thing? Someone like you? Come on, I know you're an old phone. Oh, I'll talk to him. That'd be splendid. Just amazing. I know you're an old phone, but I need you. I'd be grateful. 
my manager. Man online mine so much I've been keeping a diary. Thank you. And don't worry about payment. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. My can always keeps their promise. How did he rack up so much debt? When he opened the shop, he outfitted it with equipment from our company. Spent a bundle of cash and, and switched. Oh, yeah. Obviously, business hasn't been going well because he's fallen mm. way behind on his payments. Opening mm. a mining business on a world almost entirely covered in ocean probably has a whole there of business plans. I suppose he There's only one thing that my stream labs system, stream manager doesn't give me, and that's alerts. Poor man. Oh, okay. I don't have an activity feed, so I need a stream manager on my phone. Watch yourself out there. Scanning. Okay, so... Wait, what? Why do I need to... What? What? What do you need? I don't know why that's... A... Thing, but I always do the optionals, so Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. I'm going to be a nosy little prick, apparently. I don't know, but I gotta get what? I'm working here. Oh, oh shit! Someone here. Stealth boat engaged. No, you don't see me. Right, let's read this diary that I just stole. I have to admit, this business of server is keeping me up at night. I can see how it's starting to wear on him personally and professionally. Super is a good and honourable man. Pride won't allow him to accept my money, but what he doesn't realise, understand is the game is rigged. Even in good times, variable interest rates are designed to, designed to landslide you. All I want is him a fair shake. I may not believe in every idea he has, but I believe in him. He just needs a financial partner who can offer some direction. Someone has his best interests at heart. I won't lie, given my position, it may be a conflict, but my feelings for him aside, I really do want help. Ah, she likes him. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hang on, let me reload these two items. Come on, please work. Nope, lovely. Well, it's fine, I just want to touch those items. Those are only found in the store anyway, so it does, does not matter. Right. Hello. Now I want to make sure the Ryujin spacesuit is fine. Not the modded one that I've got. Yeah. You guys good? Yeah, you're fine. Oh, that's cool. Always be neon. Ridiculous, right? Yep. Why would someone open a mining supplies business on an ocean? Hello, my friend. Hello, Mr. Silverow. Welcome, my friend. It's been a long time since I've seen a new face. <laughs> That, that's quite a surprise, considering the, the location. First time I've laid eyes on this building, I felt the same. You see, when I opened this shop, I had grand ambitions of creating a mining supply empire on Volai. Yet here mm. I am, only a few <sighs> years later, pockets empty, and my business on the verge of closure. It is a sad day. <clears throat> Perhaps I could help. Be a blessing, my friend. But I wouldn't want to impose. Is there anything I can do to help save your store? For a total stranger. Bless you, my friend. Bless you. 
I've come up with an idea that I'm hoping will generate a lot of interest in my business. And you were the final element that was missing. If you could bring these flyers to some of the other vendors in Neon, it would explain how we can improve our businesses as a group. Tell me more about this uh, business plan of yours. Indian, keep to their own. And I Shit, I'm hungry. Why we fail. James Newell and his merchant alliance friends are on the right track, but all they do is spend their time complaining, never solving. We must unify, mm. band together, and help each other out. Then, when one of us falls, the others can reach down and help him rise from the dust. In the meantime, we will refer people to each other's shops, perhaps even promote sales together. That's a really more. good idea, yeah. Don't know why that doesn't happen anywhere. Wonderful. Seems simple enough. Simply wonderful. You have no idea the weight you have lifted from my shoulders. I appreciate your help. If there's uh, Clover McKenna offered to pay you off your debt to Calcor. Oh, she did. Miss McKenna is very kind, but I cannot accept. It is my responsibility oh. to pay the loan. If I cannot, then what happens, happens. Any hope to save the business? Struggle, my friend. I'm hoping that some... But I don't have much time. The clock... Really? Let me take a look. Oh, I did not know she felt this way. She is always so professional. I thought she did not like me. That is why I have sent proxies to negotiate my debt. She she definitely likes you. And I like her. Oh, that came out. Hmm. What I meant to say was, I respect her business acumen. Sure, <laughs> sure, sure, Look sure. At me. My palms are sweating. Regardless, Aww. you have done me a service, and for that, I thank you. You can tell Miss McKenna, I mean Chloe, that I accept her offer. Are the feelings between you and Chloe mutual? I do have feelings for her, and maybe now I will have the courage to tell her. I know no. they say never to mix business with pleasure, but there are always exceptions. Oh yeah, definitely. I hope you have a glorious day, my friend. Right, now let's go help you... I play and stream Starfield and other games as well. I'm going to help you reach yourself. Go and follow you. Oh, hold on. Um, thank you for the follow, uh... Give me a second... Fuck, how do you write that? No, That's that awesome. Works. Thank you so much, though. Um, that work? There we go. There we go. Yeah, we're... We're... We we we're a community here. You help one of us, we help you. That's how it works here, Cal, isn't it? Absolutely, hundred percent. I I was just gonna. I was looking. I. That's so nice of you, Empress. Thank you. Hey. Ask and see if anyone's interested. Oh, so I just go to the vendors I know. Fair enough. Um. Trade Authority will 100% say no. This is no one else I'm going to have to. Um, oh, Seagard, he'll say yes. He's such a nice guy. Seagard, my boy! Nice, um, I got a... I got a flyer from um, Saburu Akagi. 
good bow if in case you're interested in any cross promotion. This could always be better. I'll take that. Remember to steer. There we go. I knew he'd say yes. He got such a nice guy. And now that I helped James, I'm sure James will say yes as well. Wrong, wrong, wrong side. Where is it? Wrong side of the place. Hold on. Hey, um. There he is. Trying to figure out how Empress spells Sub the James. gamer tag. Um, it's two eyes. Dietrich's been great at the meetings. So it's two eyes underscore Empress with a capital E underscore two eyes. Okay, thank you. It's capital eyes as well. Uh, I've got a flyer from Saburo if you want to Here, look at it. Let me see that. Huh. Are you, um... you might be onto something here. Thanks for bringing this to me. No problem, Tell friend. Everyone you know about our store. Is also, it? Are you sure? Rosa, you want an option to? No. Okay. Huh? I'm, tr I'm trusting that it's two eyes. Then press two eyes. Yeah, I did. I did get. I did send a shout out. You might be able okay, to go no, no, no. I'm okay, cool. The hey, grand. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I think I know what you're doing. Yep. You look like you could use a drink. Hell, Yo, hell. Yannick. Um, the gra um, Saburo has a business opportunity that might benefit both of you. There you go, Empress. I'll look at it on my own time. See, I knew he'd say yes in his own weird way. Me and him, best buds, you know. Absolutely, my pleasure. Like I said, we l we look after people here. Uh, where the fuck? Who else can I go to? Nope, that's for Eugene. No way. What's that say? See, I like the... Yeah. Hold on. Is this a shop? Yes, it is. Yo, Frank. Oh, Frank has a mission, doesn't he? No? Would you need any help anyway? Yo. If you're here to buy, take a look around the shop. Just keep your hands where I can see them. Uh, uh. That's okay. My store, my rules. If you don't like it, talk to Sticks. Know. He runs our um, complaints department. <laughs> uh, sure. You won't get any complaints from me. I'm just That's here to spend some credits. You know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating Sticks like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Uh, if I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. I could track down the person for you, Trump. Do that. Huh. Okay. So you gotta make friends before you ask. Uh, you gotta make friends with someone before you ask a favor of them. You can't just go up to someone you've never met and go, "Hi, can you do this for me?" See, sticks is more than just a possession. The mm -hmm. low life that did this to my buddy calls himself Warlord. <laughs> you can probably find him somewhere near Euphorica. Scare the crap out of this punk, and it'll teach all the Ebside lunatics that nobody messes with me and the sticks. You know, okay, sticks. cool. Oh, wait, no, I went now. There was questions. Why is Warlord talking Warlord's to you? One of the disciples. Neon street gangs that claims it owns. Right, I thought I wiped out the disciples. Back, the 
gang tried to break in here and rob my place wait no no I took out their I took out their leadership and harassing me ever since mostly by scaring away my customers and stealing my deliveries and then the strikers are doing they'll get even with me and he came pretty damn close when he somehow managed to disable sticks and sprayed him with paint it feels like it's only a matter of time before he gets past sticks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm done mm -hmm. for. Why do people give you such a hard time by having sticks around? You'll be surprised, but thanks to my sparkling personality, I don't exactly have the easiest time making friends. That means I spend mm -hmm. a lot of time talking to sticks and motorway robots. They're not really programmed for casual conversation. And that result is I end up talking to a machine and looking like I'm out of my mind. <laughs> Hell, maybe I am. How did you and Sticks end up together? I knew a guy a few years ago who ran up a hell of a tab with me. Now I'm talking thousands of credits, but at least he'd make regular payments. Oh, yeah. One day the payment stopped, so I tracked him down. Found out he got mixed up with an Aurora dealer and uh, fell from the upper platform. Since I had oh, no. a legit claim, the city awarded me his property, which amounted to the contents of a storage container. Guess what I found inside. It took me a few months oh, to cool. scrounge up the parts, but I'd say I did a pretty decent job getting sticks up and running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I really know it's in my business, but I'm, I'm sorry, I have to ask. Do you mind telling me what happened to you? It's no big secret. I lost it fighting on the Free Star side during the Colony War. Oh, you fought Brown during the Colony War. Slogged it out in the trenches with the troops. It did pretty well, too. Until an EM weapon took out our transport. They pulled me out of right. the package, but the damage was done. Honestly, I, I consider myself lucky. Most of the other soldiers died in the crash. Also, I completely forgot. Um, need to put that as 91, then I. Because I use console stream labs, I could have manually put the number in. There we go. Sticks. Hey. How's this month looking? Let me go look for that warlord for you. I'll speak to him first, and then as soon as he starts disrespecting me, then I kill him. That's how it works in a cow. Oh yeah. I, I, I'll hear this guy out, I'll speak to him, and then the second he says something wrong, BANG! <laughs> he is dust with the Lucifer's Bane. Yep. I love that the, the disciples' corpses are still here. No, I'm not gonna walk on by because I want to talk to Warlord. Hi there. You kidding? Chimera. All sure. Tag job on the robot and neon tacticals. My best work. Chimera's nice, but little city, that gets you hammered. See, right, uh, Frannick wants rep re re retribution for you sticks. That Cyclops should be by the bank in me. Oh, I don't call him Cyclops, rude. He's lucky that's all I did after what that thing. Yeah, I guess you were right. No, 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 hold on. That is something you don't do around me and Cal. What's that? Cal, he called he called him a cyclops. He called him a what? He called him a cyclops for having an eye patch. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Straight away. <laughs> Straight away, I killed him. <laughs> that ain't happening. Yeah, we're a little sensitive about eyes around here. Yeah. Yeah, I was a bit uneasy asking him about his eye because I wouldn't know how he would react. It's all good, dude. I, I'm not. I'm not. 
it's not like a trigger for me or anything. I see. I mean, I got lots of triggers, but that's not one of them. Bola didn't get above you anymore. I hope you made him squirm. Didn't give him the chance. How did you want better? I killed him. By me. That delinquent little punk deserves it. Exactly. Thanks. Sticks is gonna get a new paint job, a coat of wax, the works. He's gonna look brand new. Honestly, I'm lucky oh, I don't have to wear an eye patch. Uh, uh, I mean, I did for a little bit. But... You what? You got the you got the cool glasses, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, I've got well. The glasses are for um, for color blindness and for because of ah. I just a light sensitivity That's and because in. also I don't like look because no with a lot no three sticks. reasons because I've got color blind lesson color blind lenses on them they help me with my light sensitivity but also I don't like looking people directly in the eye because of my autism but mm. I don't nah, need I don't them for this. like also but they cover my right. eye. That's the other thing. This, the, the wound in my eyes is gross. It's embarrassing. Uh, but I can... I still have like 50% of my vision in my right eye, so... I, covering it up would just be detrimental. Oh, Terra Brew is a merchant here, isn't they? Hold on. Hey, 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 hey. Nope, you're not an option. Yeah, Empress, I, uh, I had a... When I was a teenager, I got a... Very severe eye injury, so I can still see out of it partly, but it's. <laughs> I always, you know, I, I'm not like traumatized by it or anything. It's just. It's so as soon as he called him a cyclops, I was like, nope, you're dead. <laughs> I, I, I wear sunglasses all the time, just not only because of my light sensitivity, but because I don't like. Because I'm uncomfortable when talking to people in person without them. Yeah. Oh. Oh, thank you, Empress. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if you <laughs> if you want to know the full story, I well abbreviated full story because uh, I'm not going to trauma bomb or anything. But I got yeah. I basically got slashed in the eye with a knife. About testing on my products here. It's a, hey, thanks uh, for stopping. By a uh, a trusted authority figure. Oh. If I were you, I'd start with the Ryujin store. They have neuro amps on display there. Come back soon. It was it was a accident, but it was like it, there was some aggression involved. So yeah. Anyways, sorry sorry to get like like well, all more bit there, but. Tower. It's all good. It's all good. I'm not. I'm not worried about it. Ah, yes. We. You'll find it just. Tomorrow. And don't forget, no visit to Ryujin Tower is complete without a look at our patented neural amp technology. After all. Yes, it must be so good because you're not wearing it. I love when companies do that. It's like, oh, you really should. Like, everyone needs this, but none of their employees are wearing it. Like, hmm. Thanks, Empress. Yeah. Yeah, I think you still get worried that what happened to Color is probably going to happen again, so... Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't like to overshare. Um, yeah, I learned that the hard way. Basically, he opened up once and then he got ghosted because of it. It basically destroyed our whole little Discord yeah. community at the time, more or less. Well, no, that was. Yeah, but that like, was that was that was someone else. And well, it was it was kind of wasn't it kind of the straw that broke that camel's back though? Maybe I don't kind know. of I don't in part. So, I don't know. I I'm not. I'm it's. All, I'm not gonna worry about it. Well, that's quite unusual. Yeah. Well, if it works, I can assure you it is. 
You see, I'm a bit at odds with the current administrator. We've argued about it. But we've, 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 you know, we've recovered. No. We've moved on. Some and I, I and, you know, we're this, doing, you know, we got our own now. community now. This little community. We're doing real well. Oh, uh, you want to put the Discord in the, uh, well, if you need help, um, I don't know if it's, I don't know if you want to do that or not, but, uh, want to do what? Sorry. Put the Discord link if we're interested in like. Oh, yeah, um, hold on, um, um, there's a little channel link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you should never be afraid. Yeah, hold on. I'll do it on this phone. Go back to my stream manager and then I'll go up to this one. Uh, I did, yeah, I didn't much sure how to how to do that. If you're interested, oh. it's a very small oh. little community of friends. Very chill. No pressure though. If you want to hang out sometime. I'd say we're pretty relaxed there. Yeah. And then what I did want to do anyway is actually I'm meaning to do this and then Okay, fair enough. Can I oh, no, work no stream no pressure, this. like I said, not no no big deal. There we go. I've I've pinned it so that people can see it. There we go. But, but, right, any others? I remember doing this quest, and I, and I, it was just like, yeah, you being here, uh, enjoying the stream is more than enough. So don't even, it's all good. Yeah, no, the um, the Discord server is. Oh yeah, I know. So that it's. Oh yeah, that's a real problem. Um, yeah, I know. I, yeah, I know. I've had it. We're constantly banning bots that do that. Yeah. We're pretty quick with the with the banning. As soon as we see a bot, we just ban, ban them. And, and I didn't want. I hope I didn't. I hope it didn't sound like I was pressuring you at all. I was just an offer. Yeah. But no worries. I saw a uh, shroud somewhere. There it is. Just, shroud. I'm just. We're just delighted to have someone still to hang out with them in chat. It's all we need. Yeah. <laughs> Can I answer for you? On behalf of our company, we use grant. You can come. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I just want to talk to you about. I'm glad you and feel free. <laughs> Did you see the crazy cat billboard go. in uh in neon? If you're in the market, the what? Oh my god, I gotta take a screenshot of it. So it comes back up. Yeah, so that server's been crafted so that our They said they're not on like, Discord, so... Yeah, what I mean is... Basically, I Because they were saying to be careful about it, because I've, I've pinned it to the top now, so it's always going to be there. It's because okay. our personal chat, the VIP chat, yeah. is locked, so no one, yeah. no one else can access that anyway. 
were very, very. Like, I think it's only like three or four people in total in the whole in our whole server. So we're very careful with that. Let me know Maybe five, but somebody I, I think I don't ah, remember comes by. Thank you so much. For, thank you for taking the time. Thank you again. Right, who else am I, to, am I going up now? Oh, let me go back to Clover actually. Yeah, I love the way I play this game, whereas I get to a new location and I do all the quests in that location, and then one of the quests take me off world, and then I go to do all of the quests in that location. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, and you said you streamed Empress? Um, oh, yeah, they said they streamed Starfield. That's why I did yeah, the shout-out. Uh, Something I can uh, welcome to help for. That's uh, fantastic. I was uh, there you go. Way, so I'm glad you were able to convince him. I'll arrange for the funds to be transferred in... Mm. Give, you, give you a follow back. Forgive the late fees. Oh, I know. The quests never end. That's what I love. Doesn't. I can always reimburse them when he retires. In any case, thank you. And... Here. Next time you're alive, I'll check you out. Have a fine day. Someone always needs help. I'm I'm well aware. <laughs> no problem. But that is that is just a Bethesda game in general. Like you can never fully complete a for. You can never fully complete a Bethesda game, can you? <sighs> okay, now nah, when the next one was Doc Manning. Oh shit, that was the guy I was just talking to. I've been standing here in the middle help. of uh, Neon for the last five minutes, waiting for the billboard to shift to the cat advertisement. <laughs> the cat advertisement I saw like five minutes ago. Sure. So sorry, 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 sorry. I, I, I did not. I did not mean to keep running off. What can Reliant Medical do for you? Hey, Doc. Hello. Hope you're feeling. Uh, yeah, I, I stream too. I can help you survive oh, your problem. That yeah. would be amazingly helpful. It's a relief to meet someone uh, who gives a damn about I just I stream like occasionally. Oh. Yeah. And I'll pay you directly for the supplies, of course. It's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. Okay, I think I got it. How are we gonna sneak supplies past the There's authorities? Worry about it. As long as packages aren't coming off a commercial vessel, the authorities won't scan them. That's why this has to be done uh -huh. slowly and methodically. If I get too much all at once, they'll catch on to my scheme. I use you know what? For my paying it, customers. It, it, I'm gonna and do this. A few expenses here and there. I'm able to use a bit of my own money. It's not a bother, really. The cots here at the facility are actually quite comfortable. If this works. There we go. I don't know if that works. Let's wait and see how you feel after you make the delivery. Anyway, I have a contact over at the clinic in the Narian system. Abby Edding? She's one of the nurses there. She'll get you started. Thank you so much for doing this. I remember you have to do a slash shout out online. Oh, it's different for yours. I forgot, right. I don't know if this is a forward slash or a backslash. Uh, 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 oh, there it goes. There you go. Thank you. Stay away from Aurora before you get hooked. I will.
So I do need to eat. Um, sure, let's have some pancakes. Why not? Ooh, pancakes sound good. Raven lost her mind when she found out that um, we have pancake day in the UK. Like, I, I thought that was a thing, not just in the UK, Pancake Day. Apparently IHOP does it, but that's about it. I mean, we technically have like a day for everything in the US, it's just nobody re realizes it. Right. Yeah, first Tuesday in March we have Pancake Day. Well, we just eat nothing but pancakes all day. It's I great. don't think we even have a day like that here, honestly. I mean, maybe no. at IHOP? I don't know. Oh, that takes me off world. So, sorry, Doc, I'll do that in a minute. It's definitely not, not like a big national thing that everybody knows about. It's, it's, no. There's not more there. No, she told me that IHOP does a promotion. Hot okay, food, like anyways. Pancake day or something like that, but okay. that's about it. I just wanted to show you, this was the, uh, I'm going to put this in the server. This was, uh, this was a, um, this is on in the, uh, putting this in general. This is on in the, uh, in, in, in the, on, in the advertisement. Oh, did you see I did a little revamp to the server? Yeah, yeah, you added yesterday. a bunch of stuff, yeah. Uh, and I changed our chat. So I moved the general that was outside the lounge in the lounge, and I re and I renamed ours a VIP. Yes, I saw that. Actually, I need. To, you know what? Let me, let me put this in VIP. Yeah. So general will be like anyone can see it, and then VIP is just us. Okay. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. And I also added, uh, did you see my thing I put in the, on the Odyssey channel yesterday? Uh, on the, uh, on the which channel? I saw you put, um, for pets? Oh, the Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. I'm so Outer World, Baldur's Gate. Mean, awesome. But would you mind coming back later? Yeah, I was playing Odyssey yesterday and I got a funny game clip, so I made those and then nice. put that in there. Um, what am I trying to I was fighting to do? a. I was fighting. So, I was fighting I a legendary hyena beast. Right don't ask why hyenas in Greece. It's I'm like this weird thing. And um, <laughs> um, my pet Lynx was just playing ring ring uh, ring around the rosy with it. Oh no! <laughs> just spinning around and around. And around. That's funny. <laughs> Are you still there, uh, Odyssey? Just curious. Odyssey, Empress, Jesus. <laughs> All right, Empress. Hello. I'm... We're actually closed, right? I'm afraid so. I'm just curious. I don't... Perhaps. I'm what do you mean with our babble? I'm afraid not, but. Oh, okay, come back tomorrow. Understood. I remember this one. You have to wait a whole day and then and then she'll talk to you. Didn't I? Oh, sorry. No, you just haven't updated the uh, the sub goal right yet, right? Uh, oh yeah, shit. I thought that updated automatically, but then I realized that you have to do it. No, I gotta do it manually. <laughs> It's literally just a text box. I got you.
Yeah, Cal, did you like hearing about if I can find a place to live, Raven's got a way of getting down here? Yeah, that's fucking fantastic, dude. I mean, that's a fucking, like, that's the fucking dream. It might be, it might be sooner than later. It's amazing. I'm so, I'm so excited. I, I'm so excited that I don't want to get my hope. Like, I don't want to, like, Dave's it. offered her to help her. Who did? I don't know what this boy does for a fucking living. Oh, I genuinely God. don't. I'm perplexed. He's he, he's offered her like two point three grand. Well, do we know if he's good for it? Uh, yeah, he's he's he's, he's, he's one of our older friend, okay. oldest friends, and, he, and he's married. Okay. Wow. Holy shit. Like, and sh and sh <laughs> his wife loves Raven. Like, like. <laughs> It's funny, um, of course, that's the official she told me there was a time he was like, Nah, I can't, so I don't sure really feel like, um, truth. giving you money f for food today. And she went, oh, I'll tell you why. And he went, Oh, no, 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 okay, sorry. <laughs> was almost seven, that's funny. But according to Dr. Manning over at Reliant, he was in good health. Heart attack, my eye. There's no way that's what happened. Yeah, Neon Security isn't the best source for no, accurate information. They certainly aren't. How that security officer could stand there and tell me Thomas died of a heart attack. Well, it's a damn lie is what it is. I, I'm, I'm sorry, this is my problem. Cal, you know what would be cool? If you did well, everyone's quests in Neon and, like, helped everyone. Theories. You could build, bring all your allies and overthrow Bay Bayou. That would be, I was just thinking that. That would be My so fucking awesome, yes. Like, you help so many people and you make so many friends. Yeah, that yeah. would be great. You attack Bayou and they all turn on you. The business has had its ups and downs, but lately our rent has skyrocketed, so we've been forced to raise our prices. Unfortunately, the workers assumed we were becoming greedy, and as a result, we've had a couple of incidents with shoplifting and some vandalism. Honestly, we're well. I'm. I hope that we didn't. I, I, I feel like I may have put a little too much pressure for the Discord on oh Empress. You're no, it's the fine. First person in this awful, awful city that's reached out to help me. No, I, I don't mean pressure. I meant like it came across a little too strong. Hmm. Hang on. Does that Discord link even work? Let me check this now. Yep. Nice. Yes, exactly. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not the only one who sees the problem. I suppose the proper place to start would be with Neon Security's witness, Tevin Anastas. Oh, don't I have a crystal with him? Just please be very careful. Be careful. Neon is a... Don't I have... Yeah, I do. Dangerous place. Oh. I just... Kevin owns the Emporium over in Bayou Plaza. He's a horribly overbearing, pretentious man who wouldn't dare set foot in the underbelly. The strange thing is, I don't think I've done a mission for someone in the Emporium. In person. I didn't even know you could do missions for people in there. I didn't know there were missions there. It was nice speaking to you. Cal, then you've then you find out we haven't been doing all of the missions in Neon and you can't ever throw it. It'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> We're here whining of like, oh, nothing happens. It'd be really cool if we could do this. And then Professor's like, we did do that, you dickheads. <laughs> yeah. We did. Like, come I, on, man. Yeah, it's just, like, it's, it's just, not, here's the thing. To, to be fair to us, it's only now that the game, the game's mechanics, playing the game, the interface, mm. the way you play it, has been, you know, enjoyable enough to actually explore what the game has to offer. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, it it wasn't until we mo- it had to look it had to feel right to to want to explore it. I remember the first time I came to Neon when I when I was first playing this game when it first came out. Um, I, I only came to Neon for the Rangers thing, and then I just I did what I'm doing now. I just did a ton of different missions. Mm-hmm. But I never did Kevin. So that's interesting. Yeah. Let's see what he wants. I guess it's if you do enough quests for people and then stick around a bit longer, like you get m- 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 more quests unlocked, probably. Yeah, that's that's a cool mechanic. Are you sorry about that anyway? place? Do you think I've suddenly inherited a fortune? Damn it! I almost wore my entitled snob outfit today. Hey, no, I didn't. <laughs> In fact, there's a particular Seoka member who calls himself Headlock, who repeatedly. Oh. You mean kill him? Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't know how. I've never been terribly good at that sort of thing. Oh, well, that's where I come in. Already taken up too much. I can handle headlock for you. Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. You have no idea. Thank you for accepting my offer. Headlock's quite a dangerous gentleman. I believe you can find him hanging out somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. It will not you be a problem. That. But Sioka aren't exactly pushovers when it comes to this sort of thing. So you Neither am I. Anyway, it's funny when people warn right me that like, they're really dangerous. It's like, yeah, and I can turn people to dust. <laughs> I think I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. It's not, I want to learn more about Headlock just for law reasons. They pulled him oh. out of one of the street gangs that crawled through our sewers. If you are wondering how I know about that, he boasts about it every time he comes in here. He's quite a large mm. gentleman. I believe you can find him roaming the street somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. Look, if he somehow disappeared, you'd be doing everyone in Neon a favor. No. Please visit us okay. again if you're in the market for luxury. Oh, actually, you're, you're the first person I can ask about that. Syndicate, of course. I'm surprised you can run into any of them. Oh, I have. I killed them. Organized criminals who use threats and violence to push their own agenda. And honest people like me tend to suffer the consequences. It's another thing. Is there a quest to take down the syndicate? That'd be fun. Who runs the syndicate? (laughs) Could be anyone. (sighs) Hey there. Yeah, modders, you need to make it that as soon as you do all the quests in Neon, you get a new quest to take out Bayou. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like. And then his bro. And then, and then, like, someone like his brother could be in his charge, because his brother's alright. Well, here's the thing. You know how there's the become the High King of Skyrim? You need to be oh, able yeah. to re- You need to be able to replace... Become the administrator. Soon. You need to be... Yeah, you need to be able to replace Bayou. Like, instead of, e- I mean, evil run. You instead of become High King, it's just become CEO. Yeah. Like, like... Rule, ru- rule neon, basically. Can I help you? Hey, Frankie. No, I'm not gonna steal anything. That's me thinking. Sounds like something a thief would say. I had some high sure. hopes for this shop back when my husband and I opened it a while back. These days, if you ain't a regular, you're usually trouble. Or I'm new. Well, I get it. Trusting anyone's heart these days. Mm-hmm. Sounds like we understand each other then. Uh, Tevin told me a thug named 
headlock hangs around here? I really want to know where he is, come on. to tell you I I really would you just won't give up will you nope yeah I know headlock can't stand them. and I heard some of the other Sioka can't either that uh -huh. doesn't know how to keep himself out of trouble what do you do this time it's been he's been terrorizing the Emporium wait how do you know it's that you're not here to interrogate me so let's get all right, well, he's been inter he's been terrorizing the Emporium. Well, if any place should be terrorized, it may as well be the Emporium. In any case, if you're so desperate to find him, he and his... I gotta ask. I just want to talk to him. <laughs> That's one way to punish him. <laughs> You'll just bore him to death. Yeah, and then shoot him. I have a business to get back to. Oh, the, uh, you're just going to bore him to death. Yeah, and then shoot him when I get bored. Come again. I love playing psychopaths in this kind of game. But, like, hero psychopaths? Yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> like, I love that too. Like, I'll fight for good, but I will kill anyone who gets in my way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, hey, Neon. Neon, what's up? How's it going? Mm, Good to see you. Smells like shit. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself, Audrey. Now. It's fun time. Oh, wait, no, we're going to talk to him first, don't we? <gasps> Fine. Hey there, headlock. The are you? And who do we have here? You are Everybody young. Says get your head caved in. You need to leave the Emporium alone. So? I'm not just some yeah. low-life thug anymore. I'm with the Sioka now. You mess with me, you'll mess with the whole syndicate. Yeah, going good, going good, going good, going good. Can't complain. What yeah, gang I'm doing are you well, before you join Sioka? Things are good. I ran with them for a good long while, but then it just became embarrassing. No, oh, you should have stuck around. I was with him. Clawed myself out of the gutter, and Sioka took notice. No, you should have stuck with the. You should, you should have stuck with the strikers. They're the, they're a private military squad now. Yeah, maybe the strikers were just sick of you wanting to leave. So you think you're funny, huh? Keep talking like that, and I'll make sure you're eating trawl through a tube. So go on, huh? Funny. Give me a reason. Because I'll kill you. I think you're bluffing. There's no way you could take me. But fine. Nobody like you isn't even. <sighs> you yeah, not sure I believe you. Nothing better than a hero psychopath. Hi. Nice and easy. Oh, you had penicillin. Wait, no, no. Should I say sociopath? Because he's very much aware of how n psychopathic he is. <laughs> That's what Matt told me. Sociopath is when you're a psychopath, but you're aware of it. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of um, the boss in Saints Row. Because that man is a full blown. So, oh! A sushi rolls multi pack. I did not know that there were more multi packs. I'll have a bit of sushi, sure. Never had it. But. 
be fair, I probably should try it before Raven gets here, because I won't be allowed, I won't be able to try it when she's here, because she doesn't, cause she, she can't be around fish, can she? No. Probably should try sushi at least once before it's too late. I've said the main thing I'm going to miss is calamari, and that's not too bad. A deep, deep fried calamari is great. Hi there. What do you need? Right. Hey, Tevin. Welcome to the Emporium. I took care of Headlock. He will not be messing with you anymore. He might be haunting you, but he won't be messing with you anymore. Oh my. Now that is a true relief. I thought I would never be rid of him. Mm -hmm. I'm not one to get involved with the rubble. So I'm glad you came along when you did. Thank you for your help. It's alright. Now that I helped you, I want you to help me? I want to talk to you about the death of Thomas Luzio. I'm not telling you a thing. I've already reported what I saw to security. Stop wasting my time Dude. and leave. There's nothing Come to on. tell you. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Just wanna know what happened to Thomas. You'd better be right. Mm-hmm. Don't fetter. Shit. I'm glad you understand the police. Come on, one more, one more. I suppose yes. I understand. Oh my god, enough. Get in with these. I know if it'll get you to leave. Yeah. I saw it happen. Thomas was murdered and thrown into the ocean. Afterwards, Can I read it? I foolishly reported the incident to security. For my efforts, I was rewarded with a gun to my head and threatened with death if I didn't keep silent. Hmm. Does the murderer no. work with security? The officer that threatened me was completely different. And the murderer wasn't wearing a uniform. I'd wager that the murdering bastard has a friend in security that's covering things up for him. Hmm. Why don't you shop? Am I not allowed to leave my own shop? There's another stupid question. If you really must know, I was going for a walk. Shocking, I'm sure. Why don't you step in and try and stop it? Come on. I'm not risking life and limb to save someone I barely know. There are people that get paid to do that. I'm not one of them. So I simply prioritized my own safety and didn't get involved. A lot of good that mm. did me. Right, I need more info. Can you tell me you did it? It was hard to hear over the commotion. But I'm sure I heard Thomas call his attacker Russell and Rusty a few times. From what I could gather, the attacker was after credits, and Thomas refused to give him any. After that, well, Thomas went for a swim. You ever dealt with Rusty personally? I've seen him around here and there, but if he ever were to come into my shop, I tell him to leave immediately. In fact, I would never even talk to someone like him. I have no business dealing mm. with petty criminals or Aurora addicts. You tell me where he is? Someone like him be, hmm? He stays at the sleep crates near Madame Sauvage's place. Oh, it's case, good. I'm friends with the owner. My name cannot be mentioned. I very much dislike sharing Thomas's briny fate. And with that, That's fair enough. I must insist you leave me in peace. That is, of course, unless you'd like to make a hefty purchase. You know what? I'm going to have a look and see what I you have, because I have no idea what you even sell. Yeah, that, that, that's fine, Jesus. Sure. Oh, I get it. You sell overpriced paperweights and office supplies. You sell junk, my friend. Oh, no. 
Oh, I carry all sorts of unique items from across the settled systems. Luxury products for the discerning buyer. I'm not Junk. to boast, but my shop won me my position as administrator Bayou's personal decorator. His penthouse is my pièce de résistance. Uh, before I forget, I also pay top credits to travelers that... You won't find them all. Oh, can you buy some of my junk? No, no, no. Wow. No way in hell I'm giving you the Ace of Spades. Yeah, you're gonna rip me off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Audrey has a gift. Oh, thank you. Alright, it's a good thing I'm friends with the sleep crate owner. Talked a bit of history of her, she seems to like me. We should be good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus, there we go. Hey, buddy, why don't you throw a few credits my way, huh? Help a guy out, yeah? Let me guess, I'll end up in the ocean if I don't give you anything. Ocean? What the hell are you? Wait, no, no, no. He, he told me that everything. Listen, you gotta hear me out. I never meant to do anything, it was an accident. Yeah, I've got Who's some here? really What's weird uh, audio feedback. I've never That's heard this before. It's like. Listening to a to a um, amplifier turned way up is uh oh. I don't know what's going on. I think I'm gonna have to shut my box down and restart. I got in a fight with Thomas. I asked him for some creds, but the bastard wouldn't give me anything. Things got out of hand. He ended up falling off the other. Then I. I called my buddy in security. Hell no, I'm not doing that. Listen, I messed up. I know that. But no, no one will ever see me again. No one even needs to know I'm alive. Just come on. Just let me go. Ah, oh, hello. What the fuck? Thanks for the luck, Neon. I didn't even see them. What what messages did they send? I didn't even see them post a thing. You must have gotten on that super fast. No sense letting it go to waste, right? But death, a life for a life, you know. He killed Thomas, I killed him. I think I got them. What do you call them? Horns? You got an issue with what I just did? Yeah, I got horns. No, I don't think so. I love how powerful this shotgun is. Hmm. Joe, say those Varun zealots worship a snake. Let 
Hey, Catherine. For doing this. And please, be careful, uh. please. Tell I knew it. I just knew that I was being fed lies. Nothing added up right from the start. Neon security. My husband's killer. Rusty. I believe he was one of the Jennerdine workers that would come around and cause mm. trouble. Steal things, vandalize, or the like. They were a rowdy bunch. My husband usually handled the troublemakers and became well acquainted with Rusty and his so-called friends. Vandalism and shoplifting is well. So, what did... Good. I killed him. And good riddance to him too. An eye for an eye and all that. Exactly. I'm not the type to wish death upon anyone, but he deserved worse for what he did to my Thomas. And about security. Did you find... Yes, you're right. It just oils my blood thinking about what they did. But I must say that I feel oddly vindicated just by knowing the truth. The uncertainty was constantly eating away at me. At least I can take solace knowing that justice was served. At least to some degree. I never would have figured out the truth without you. Not necessary, just happy help. Oh, you're so sweet. In any case, please know how grateful I am that you helped me. Fine. You're the only person to ever show kindness to me in this city. And now that I know the truth, I can try to focus on healing. Thank you for everything, from both myself and Thomas. It's fine. And I think that's the last one. What I might do, since I'm already at Neon, I might also, um, where is it? I might do the reunion because I've never completed that before. I've never even got far, far in it, like I did like, the first two missions and stopped. Yeah, reunion's super fun. My favorite quest line in the game. I'm in town for business, my client. I'm an independent contractor, working for some very wealthy clients. They open deals, I close them. There might be. I originally came here to complete a business deal, but the client, in a fit of foolishness, decided to close on their own. Rather than dispose of the evidence properly, they left it in a warehouse. Real amateur stuff. So there are some loose ends that need tying, and I prefer. A what am I doing exactly? A simple job. I need you to pick something up and sell it. Cheers. Sure. We'll split my rate 50 50. You'll find the merchandise in the locker in the warehouse. Gangs in Ebside often use that area to peddle their sunshine and lollipops. Once you secure the merchandise, sell it to Coleman Lang at the Trade Authority, so it's part of their regular inventory. Return here when the job is done. Okay.
Yeah, I'll help. I'll, I'll help the small people, and then I'll do the reusing quest line. I think that'd be a nice way of doing it. I'm guessing Lucifer's Bane is classed as a Laredo gun because I keep getting the Laredo dialogue line. He's new. Three. Shit. All right. What is oh, my dad saying that? You're here to report a crime. Oh, shit. Seriously. What? No. Okay. Everyone's changing their mind because the plans. Apparently, I need to go in 45 minutes. Oh, okay. God! Uh, I, no, it's you know. not. It's it nothing you can do about it, is it? Uh, no, I was just. Dude, I was, I was really looking forward to Baldur's Gate. Um. Yeah, I know. So everything is up in the air because my uncle's there and our time with him is so limited, so they're they're changing plans on the fly. Shit. I'm really sorry. It's fine. Okay. Um It's fine, I'll just stick to Starfield. It's fine. Alright, alright. I'm having fun. All right, cool. I I'm sorry. Thanks. Thanks for understanding. Yeah. Something. Hmm. Not a bad gun. Good balance. I got to go at uh, eleven my time, which would be uh, what four o'clock your time. That gun is hotter than a frying pan full yeah, of fish grease. I'm not giving you anywhere near market. I'll take one get. Really? You? Okay, sure. First, get on out of here. Seriously, check out one of the mission boards. And if running cargo's not your thing, then that's too bad because that's what we've got. Done here. Time to move oh, Jesus. On. Too bad, I like flying everywhere. Get used to it. Got a problem? I like when Neon Security threatened me because I'm just like, you really want to try me? <laughs> yeah. Then my client can finally relax. He's a very tense man, you see. Tried to smile once, years ago, and didn't like the fit. But I digress. Right. Here's your payment, as promised. 
Enjoy the rest of your time here in Neo. Cheers. Damn it, this is so cool. Oh no. Right now, I think that's Yep, that's it. Okay, so now Think of Abby Edding. Finally going off world. Nice. I'm leaving Neon for a bit and then I'll be coming back and doing the new fusion. <laughs> As I'm helping the small people first, so I need to up dock. I swear that Bethesda must think only two types of of nationalities exist in the world, other than other like three nationalities, other than American, Irish, Russian, and Scottish. No other accents <laughs> in the game. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. And you find out those are the only three nationalities that managed to evacuate Earth before it was destroyed. Oh, was it? Is that why? <laughs> that, I, I don't know, that'd be that'd funny. That'd be funny, yeah. It's like, look, dude, listen. The, the, the like people we, we can everyone, afford to hire didn't for, we? for voice talent, they can barely do these three accents, so we're gonna make the lore. <laughs> That only those three countries escaped. <laughs> uh, that'd be the funniest shit. Oh yeah, I want to see my new um. I got rid of the brig and changed it into a uh, living court. Oh look at that! That's much nicer. Let me see. I love the two, the 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 two by two living quarters. Let's see. Uh, the, the video is about to catch up. Much nicer. Right. And then this. Oh, is... yeah. Oh, that is. A nice. workshop. Oh, dude. Yeah. Is that the Hope Tech? Uh, that's Shroud. That's Shroud. Shroud. Right. Right, 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 right. 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 Hope Tech is like not as advanced. Yeah. Right. I'm actually gonna. Um, I'm quitting my game so I can watch you. Watch your stream. Until I, until I gotta go. That's fair. I mean, I, I I've been watching. I meant on my uh, on my console. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just gotta take some pills and have some that coffee. Uh, ah. Oh. I'm gonna switch to. Um, Oh, I added well. a um, yeah. I did one of the Avon Tech um, in engines to my ship on the top. Oh, you know one of the glowing ones. Oh, right, right. Oh, nice. That is cool. I like that. Wait a sec. I don't even recognize that in my game. Is that? I wonder if Avon Tech is even showing up in my game. Because I don't recognize that module. <laughs> oh man. I got barely any sleep. Hmm. Might need a nap later. Oh, he is hungry and thirsty this time. Interesting. Right, I'm switching. I'm, I'm. You know what? I'm gonna be in the text, text chat and just gonna listen to your uh, stream audio. Okay.
I'll have I'll have I'll have my voice available too, but only for like emergent emergencies. Yeah, sir. Oh, dude, your your Snapchat alerts are coming through the stream audio. Hmm. Really loud. <laughs> Hold on, notification settings. I could have swore I turned notifications off. Right, let me unmute my that, 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 that laptop to us so I actually hear them. I think Chris Streamlabs is running on my laptop, even if I have. Yep, there we go. There we, oh, Jesus, that is loud. Um, <coughs> lock all notifications from this site. There we go. Oh Jesus, I could I was oh, I was doing something game. I was Nice job. Not a scratch on the ship. Also, I'm going to turn my, I'm going to, un, what's it called? Uninclude my audio because I'm going to be yes, in the sir. kitchen and stuff. Yes, sir. No matter how much we learn, we're only just... Oh, yeah, I'm back in the clinic. Where's my, where's my friend? Where's my friend? Where's my friend? What? No, no, he was here. I do actually like that. Hey, how you doing, mate? If it ain't our newest ranger, good to see you. How you doing? Good to see you too. Then you'd be guessing correctly then. Even if there was some kind of trouble, which there almost never is, Free Star Security would handle that. <laughs> Truth is, this post is what you might call ornamental in nature. Ever since the clinic came under Free Star collective control, there's been a ranger here. I reckon Fair it enough. serve as a reminder of who's in charge of this place. Probably, yeah. It's fair. Oh, where the hell? He didn't get fired, did he? He didn't get fired for helping me, did he? Where's my friend? Um, I think his name is Arnis. I'm not sure. The guy that was at the desk. Oh, I, I, I've just had to go back to the clinic again to pick up a, pick up a delivery. But I want to see my friend. Daniel. Oh, there he is. Oh, Ari. Computer guy. You need medical help. You get out of here before you catch something. We get the cases no one has ever seen before, or doesn't know how to treat. Hey, let's keep our voices down. The clinic doesn't exactly mm. mean giving its supplies away. That being said, I've been expecting someone soon. I've heard Bayou really has a vice grip on Neon right now. I have some supplies I can give you. Should be more than enough. 
Sorry, I can't do that. Nobody wants that. I'm trying to be... I hear you. Oh, I really shouldn't do this. If the clinic finds out... All right, you win. You're very persuasive. I can throw in a few extra supplies, yeah. but I'm not going to make this a regular. Thank you. Gonna help a ton. My brother-in-law just got back from mm -hmm. weeks in Paradise. Place looks amazing. Looking good for takeoff. All yours, boss. Hi, Dan. Well, that's true. Where's the last? Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like right there. I like the oh, I like the way the ship is like streamlined. Now. That's nice. Oh, well, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, it said I didn't have enough engine power, so I started another one on the top. Yeah, that's fair. I just didn't want to risk stressing with Dark Star. Because of Dark Star manufacturing and how much stress that was, I, just, I gave up with all the Dark Star stuff. I said I didn't want to get paid, but whatever. I, don't, I really don't need the money, whereas you guys do. I got 176,000. Yeah, I still don't really need the money, but. Just one stronghold supply run, and that's that done. Right now, time for Ryujin. Oh shit, there's these.
Hold on. Where the hell? Dietrich's been great at them. Let me know if we can. Oh, that's the one right there. Best deal. Hold on. Yeah, I'll get the mark from. Tell everyone you know about our Oh, no, I want to find out how things are going with my Dietrich. Say hello. Much better. Thanks for asking. I don't exactly know what you said to Dietrich, but he certainly turned everything around. He's really stepped up and taken an active role in fighting Neon Security's corruption. He's even organizing the merchants' meetings with me. Best of all, I think we've become good friends, which is a rare thing to come across in this city. I can tell you that. Oh, it's good to nice to Watch hear. Your back out there. Now. I want that. Cause that is a much better colour. And then Why not? <laughs> Does it come up still on my mask? Oh. Possibly want. It doesn't. Ooh. For my interview, I might as well um, wear my suit. So let me take this off. There we go. Oh, look at this ensemble with the swords and the. Su I quite like this. Hi. Right. You must be one of the candidates that Imogen Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So... Great. Oh, so I can find it. So it was... To the left. Downstairs. And take a right. Hmm. Uh, I maybe I don't know. Don't tell me you're intimidated by a little office chair. Have a seat. <laughs> All right. Just to get a few things straight here, I'm Imogen Salzo, senior operations specialist here at Ryujin Industries. Possibly, yeah. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart Yuko is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrator position. Apparently our algorithm felt you were a decent match. So let's get this started. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? An excellent question, but enthusiasm can only take you so far. 
We don't operate on passion alone here. We look for skill. Which brings me to my next question. Oh, okay. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? Including this job? The arc of the deal can go a long way here. If what you say is true, you'll have department heads fighting over you in no time. How motivated are you to succeed? Sorry? Sorry? All in, huh? At least that's an attitude. Sorry. Right. I honestly, I, I was talking to her. I, I didn't even know what you said. Last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? I said. It's alright. Fine. Honestly. Full disclosure, <laughs> it's all about making deals with the right people around here. If you put those skills of yours to good use and choose the right sides, you probably won't be running the place, but you'll be right next to the one who does. So mm -hmm. look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. On a probationary period? Of course. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. <laughs> Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Alright, now I'm out of my interview and I have to wear my... I, 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 I can wear my armor again. I like my suit. I'm happy I've got that now. But my armor is just so cool. There's something fishy going on here, and I don't mean the smell. This whole ensemble with like the clothing armor sort of thing. And then like the mask that he puts on when he needs to breathe. It gives me Star Lord vibes. I like it. Oh, the reunion order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that promotion? I got fired, is what happened. And this is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years by the desk. Getting coffee. Kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? Excuse me. You don't even know Chen? your own boss's boss. Ularu is Ryujin's head of operations. Or resident shark, if you ask me. If she smells blood in the water, you're dead. Who what? knows? I, I looked at someone wrong. The coffee wasn't hot. They didn't even have the decency to tell me. They just had security escort me out of the building. Like, like some criminal. Yeah, I bet you are. No one's ever sorry in this business. No. Now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. But, leave me. You don't just get to learn all the ins and outs of Ryujin operations and then... <laughs> they don't let that kind of... It's just a matter of time before they send you out. You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind and I'll walk away. Fail. I suppose the timing could... Just be a coincidence. Look. Yeah, I, I'm not doing that one. Really will send you after me. Can you just, just promise me you'll remember this. That, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. Why would I be the one they send? 
Let's just say Ryujin doesn't like loose ends. Chen fired me, and now she's gonna see me as a liability. And that's why it's just a matter of time before our paths cross again, okay? And when they do, I'm just hoping you'll listen to me like I listen to you. Yeah, yeah of course. Either, either one of those you good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. It's the first one. Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. How would Ryujin, Ryujin handle it? has connections everywhere. Even Benjamin Bayer. You know, the uh -oh. guy that runs Neon. They're practically untouchable around here. Just getting in with them, you're setting yourself up for life. Well, provided you don't get fired first, of course. We can tell you about that guy. Ryujin's errand boy for some time now. Lots of ambition. Dying to get up that food chain, if you know what I mean. He always seemed really nice, so a stunt like that? <laughs> I never saw it coming. Yeah, I still gotta pick up that order. Of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple-checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. Okay, nice. Um, how far is it when you have to sneak into that conference room or something? Oh no, it's something to do with a conference room, I don't remember. It was like one, it was like one or two missions in. But I did not get far. Fusion was one of the last things I did. Coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with it. I can not do reunion until until another time if you want. Personal. Huh. I know that Tomo Higashi, an ex employee of ours, accosted you at the Terra Brew and Ryujin has enough connections in Neon that an incident like this would not... Deception aside, some of us are impressed by... You sure you don't want to see your uncle? ...and would like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations, you've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? Okay. No more coffee errands, but depending on how you look at it, the word errands technically still applies. Let me explain. I'm promoting you to junior operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? Ah, okay. In any case where a threat to success is established, one of us is sent out to create a more desired outcome. This may be through a conversation or presenting some new information. It's all very situational, as you'll soon see. Okay. Well, it depends on the job, really. If someone can't be persuaded with words, perhaps a more forceful approach is necessary? You're basically removing obstacles from the equation. Hmm. Like any good corporation, we consider what we do here to be a trade secret. If others knew and could mimic our actions, it would take away our edge. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. 
I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other oh. recipients are eagerly waiting for you. This was it. I went in the conference room. This was it. This is it. This is just how far I got and then I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> this is how far I got. That's sort of ridiculous. Hi, coffee. You'd think you'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but terrible it is. Terrible would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass terrible within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time your dad you seems chill. To screw up. Which hopefully won't be off. At times. <laughs> Don't know you've had issues. Yes, mistakes are often costly and involve substantial cleanup, both literally and figuratively. Law enforcement, witnesses, evidence, everything has its cost. I don't appreciate the silent treatment. Yeah, yeah, give me give me a second whoever your name is. I'm talking to Raven. Raven's got a really bad sore throat, so I told her to drink plenty of water, and she's been drinking cold water, and it's been like, ah, it's making it worse. I was like, no, 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 room temperature, warm, warm water, warm water. Good. Then it appears we have nothing left to discuss. This introduction was not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. I needed. Imogen said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Oh, so you're the one keeping Fusion in the public. That's great. Good for you, Grace. an entire department at my back. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? Can you get it from like 7 Eleven or anything like that? There's 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 chloroseptic. I 
and then it will just be trying to Yeah, because you're not leaving now. <laughs> oh, there's a menthol one. She'll like that. Oh, yeah, I'm sure there'll be like a recommend dose that I will make sure she follows to the fucking letter. Journalists are pretty quick at putting two and two together. Cherry, right. And I get the pleasure of making sure those connections I'll have are never made. Nor yeah. They are. Well, they she... Her, her vapes are menthol, so, I'm get, so I know she likes menthol. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they all say. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights yeah she was basically saying like it was really sore yesterday as you know from the messages and then she woke up this morning and i told her to drink water to help and then when she swallowed she said she said she she, she tasted blood coffee finally well let's have a look at you Sounds like something my son would say. And no, I don't mean that as a compliment. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear. We may have connections with Administrator Bay. Let's hope your best is... Hmm. Yeah, I will let her know. And right, from C from CVS, can she get snacks so she can still get food for tonight? Yeah, she can. Good. Actually, right, she can. Good. Because what Dave does is he has she's got a food allowance from him, so I'm gonna get make sure she uses some of that food allowance for her throat spray. Because I, I can't, I can't, I can't buy her the throat spray until Friday. Because I get paid Friday. Are you gonna fucking talk to me? Dude, are you gonna talk to me? There we go. One minute, and Junior operative the next. Yeah. Camden Show, supply chain manager for Ryuta. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, so because... Oh, hold on, you're going to get a low-key appearance. Hello, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I get paid Friday, so... Oh, he started screen recording my fucking laptop. Mate, that's just rude. Why are you going to sit behind me? Can they see you? Sort of, he's... He's like there. Oh, now he's climbing up. Are we having a conversation or not? There he goes, done. Yeah, oh, I'm busy, mate. I have oh, exactly. you, you, you. This is this is more important than exactly you, you, okay? I'm trying to source something out. Anything from rare materials for Honestly. R to slave sands design software for marketing. You could say I'm the one aspect of operations that keeps this department legit. Oh wow, really? 
Oh, what? Like, oh, oh, as in, like, yeah, 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 spit. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Ah, so she remembered. Not that I expect much out of Terra Brew Coffee, but hey, I suspected their grinder was on its last leg. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up. People in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Were you planning to finish that thought? Camden, I'm busy. Oh shit, apparently Dave's out of money. Mm-hmm. Hmm. If you have time to stand around, you have time to get some work done. Uh, in that case, I'm just going to keep getting her to drink warm water, and then if it's still hurting, I'll buy her this spray when I get paid. Take comfort in knowing that you're the one deciding the methods behind your assignments. Not only that, but corporate espionage is the norm. She has no honey or lemon. <laughs> Competitor operatives have done far worse to accomplish less. Well, neuroamps for one. They aid in mental illness, confidence boosting, and focus. Drone robots for maintenance and security, tranquility for relaxation, Arboron for protection. Your work only helps us improve and expand upon these products that so many people love and benefit from. Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. Of course, right. you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. <laughs> Imagine a new cobra on a tight ship around here. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know oh, the I heard Mama. impacting while on the job. Yeah, I mate. I didn't realize you were up there. Good news is her pain is getting better. She's able to walk now. I'm glad you feel that way. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Kelt Corp were trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. <coughs> My words exactly. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. 
That's up for you to determine. Think of it as the creative aspect of your job. There's always more than one way to get a job done around here. Think of it as a lesson that Kelt Corp gets to learn the hard way. This is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. Null is said well, yeah, I don't want to ruin my relationship with Keltcorp. Here's the data slate. Good luck. Friends with Chloe over there. Hi, Dan. Supply chain disruptions in the Cheyenne. kept pestering me about this damn missing slate. Like security's got time to track something like that down. Oh, new mission. Yay. This is why I like doing like Ryujin after I've done all those missions because it keeps me around Neon for a little bit more and gets even more missions. Oh nice, there's only two possible combinations. Nice. I love when that happens. Oh yeah, it's a novice one, that makes sense actually. Oh not let me go back. And I'm hidden still. I'm glad I ended up with help. I love the fact that the stealth meter in this game is just a little text box that says hidden and detected. There's something fishy going on here, and I don't mean the smell. If you're wondering what that smell is. Not sure if those for you. Well, look who survived their first assignment. No instance report. Not a single setback. I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. 
So, now that we know you're nice. capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, training. Excuse me? <laughs> and I'd argue that arts and crafts is exactly what we do here. Just on a much higher level. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and we'll be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first, and accidentally leave behind some incriminating es The inspection will be similar to an audit. These things are usually pretty thorough. Filing cabinets, desk. We want a clean and careful job. Obviously, we don't want any bad press at this point, or we could lose the deal. I hmm. don't want to hear any news about bounties or bodies coming out of the Kila City. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp. So, at least there's... Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that will cast the perfect negative light. Now, get going. As far as Audrey hasn't meant has hasn't commented on the fact that I'm doing with Eugene yet. I do want to change that engineering bay as well actually. I'll do that when I can remember. As so I'm going to Aquila, they have Stroud. I'll 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 um I'll do it when I land at Aquila. I do not like engineering bays because once again an engineering bay is there for display, nothing else. I don't like the ones that don't serve the purpose. Like the like the two by two living quarters. That's where people can live and hang out and stuff. That serves a purpose. The engineering bay is literally there for no reason. Whereas I could have like a science thing there or something instead. So something that actually serves the use. You're right. This is free start space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. All right, you're good.
You alright, dude? You seem sad. Anything I can help? You should inspect your ship for heat leak. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Three by one. Yeah, you seem kind of sad. Ah, gotcha. That wasn't sad cow, that was sleepy cow. Gotcha. All in one. I'll probably go for an all in one then. Nice to go now. I'm going for a two by one. We have a science lab and then a one by one storeroom. <sighs> kind of screen. Ah, yeah, I need your coffee. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I don't drink coffee, but I know what it's like for people that do that <laughs> when they haven't had their coffee yet. <laughs> I know that from Connor. <laughs> Connor's always been one of those, don't talk to me till I've had my coffee. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I mean, if you need a coffee, you can. I need to find if you need a coffee, I'm not saying you can go. You, you can go get one. Your next stop wouldn't be the Caribbean system, would it? Ah. Report of a distress call out there, but we don't have the ship to send someone that far out. Is it? Is it the ADHD paralysis? See, no, no one believes me when I say that's the real thing. Where it's like you keep telling your brain to do something, but your legs don't want to move. It's ADHD paralysis. It's like I was, I had to go downstairs to like, um, this was back when Raven was in the hotel, so I was talking to her all day anyway. And I was on the phone with Raven, and the chat was like, right, you need to go downstairs now because it's my turn. I was like, okay. And then I go to get up, and I'm like, Jack, my legs won't move. Hmm. The, the brain doesn't make the choices, it's a separate thing. Hmm. You ain't doing it. <laughs> Yep. I swear I might be more ADHD than I am autistic, to be honest. Yeah, there's the, oh, I re, I really do, it, it just, it just goes away when, when I'm, um, when I'm online t talking to friends, you should, like, for instance, you should see me when I start working in a new place, people know me as, oh, he never talks, like, yeah, I don't know you guys. <laughs> I've always been called shy. 
Mm. Yeah. Well, that's because I've I've been raised in a sarcastic family that I've always known sarcasm. Because <laughs> my family's always been, my family's always been sarcastic. Whereas it's only a recent thing where everyone's been coming out, and it's and it's mainly my mum that's sarcastic, and my mum and dad are straight, obviously. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> right. Let's have a look. So I had a science lab and a storage room because the science lab is 2 1. So I didn't have. I had a research lab already. What's that? It's a pharmaceutical lab. Thank you. <laughs> it's just completely opposite. <laughs> See, but that's. They literally had that conversation with me, that's the funny thing. Like, they had the whole. Well, no one's fully straight. Like, you have tendencies, I'm sure. It's like, no. <laughs> So like, no one's fully straight. It's like you guys are. Well, yeah, but just like, then no, what do you mean? <laughs> it's like, I think it was. <laughs> but like, yeah. <laughs> But then Jack went to me and went, what, so if Ryan Reynolds asked you, I went, fuck no! <laughs> I'll wouldn't do it with anyone, a dick, a dick is a dick, don't want dick. <laughs> I fucking love that I'm I I'm obsessed with Deadpool as a character, but I just know. <laughs> I think it's funny when I think therefore I am when I tried <laughs> when I tried telling Connor like um oh no I'm fully straight I would never do with any guy he just started listing all these like guy celebrities that, like you sure you wouldn't do this like yes I wouldn't do that <laughs> like did did do they have a dick yes then they can fuck off <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dan. <laughs> I was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? Everything set. Deal should be awesome. I'll let Ularo know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. Oh, is this going to be a combat one? Nice to see I haven't worn you out yet. 
Your next assignment is to find the security chief and use no. some creative thinking to obtain their security key card. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. What do you mean? We just need some easy access to competitor security. Sometimes obtaining a legitimate form of access is preferred over brute forcing it. Yeah. A security chief isn't going to give the time of day to just anybody. A nice suit should do the trick. Mm. Or who knows? Some operatives are known to have a security. Probably not, but maybe I don't know. Just be careful. Getting I'm sure they weird they, they, like like getting fully gay guys just aren't interested in them. So. I'm sure you'll be able to get that. Whereas me, I mean, I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> If anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. All you need to do out. is look at my partner and then you'll see what I want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did think it was funny when you found out, like, how young me and her both were. You were like... Oh, I'm stopping any kind of talk like that ever again. <laughs> like you were like, wait, you're, 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 you're in your early twenties? Yeah. Like, oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> me, me and Ravens are the babies of the server. No, 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 it's, no, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I, I, do, I don't tell them the stuff that we, do, that we talk about. Especially with that sort of thing. Dude, I'm like Matt. No topic of conversation is off limits. It's very hard to offend me. The only way I think anyone could offend me is if is if someone like tried to insult insult, insult Raven. We which is which is what Painter did. <laughs> which is why I went off on him. <laughs> the only thing that will make me do that. So you you you're safe, you're fine. Yeah, I was sharing my screen with her because she wanted to see like how Painter was talking about her, and he and he was basically having a rant about like how she doesn't treat money well and stuff like that, and he he called her childish and like loyalty like a dog, and he just started making her cry, so I fucking went off on him. Like, loyalty is a good thing, not a bad thing. Oh, is he at uni? Nice. Yeah, he said he picked a uni that's close to home so he can still stay home, which is nice. We'd be dust except for the factory. I like that people don't talk about how great Ron Hope is when you go to Hope Town anymore. It's nice. <laughs> like Ron did all this stuff, people are like, no, fuck him. <laughs> Can I help you? 
help you? That is a pretty huge favor, especially coming from someone I don't even know. I'm not sure what kind of emergency would require me to hand over a secure... I thought I made myself clear. I'm... Just because you look like an authority... Not my problem. Maybe I can make it. You really don't have any... Fine. The key's yours. Just remember to... Hi, Dan. Okay. Do you want me to hold off on region until you get back? Sure? Alright. Oh, okay, cool. Damn, I need those, what the fuck? I'll do two waterproof earphones, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, I've just got Beats, Beats Studio Buds. Ah, uh, oh, the, oh, oh, there's another mic, fair enough. Then. I forgot the fact that I've got a fucking sword, it's just, just fucking, it's just sitting there in the corner. That thing was digging into my back and fucking gone and gone. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. So, I, I may have been wearing that nice thick leather jacket, but it was, did not do as much as I thought it would. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the pictures of me at Comic Con, I basically had my backpack, I had my jacket on, I had a backpack on, and then I had the sword in between like the jacket and the backpack as like a makeshift sheath. Hold on, I've got a picture of me and Connor next to a cannon I can send you. What I can do, because Connor sent me the pic. Connor was the one that sent me the picture because they took it on his phone. Let me go on his DMs on Messenger. Grab it from there. I think it was his DMs on Discord, actually. Nope. 
Um, I'm sure must be there. Um. Or not? Where the fuck? What's up, maybe? He uses so many different things. I remember having the picture, I just don't know where the fuck it went. Oh, that's the picture I took of my sword. Mm. Hmm. I had it. Where the fuck did it go? in our group chat for some reason. I'll find it after stream. Oh, I've got messages from Raven. Um, Hey there. Go 
got that key card for me? I think of security the same way too, but don't let Dalton know I said that. Overall, not bad for a mm. father. I think you're ready to kick things up. We'll soon find out, won't we? This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. Mm. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astro Lounge here in Neon. Mm. Exactly. And since you seem to be familiar with him, you probably know how much we don't like to upset him. If you haven't already heard the name Benjamin Bayou, the man runs Neon and has ties to anything significant. The Trade Tower is his baby. You do anything to scar that and make a scene? The assignment is pretty easy. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. Infinity LTD is one of our aspiring competitors. They have products in several similar fields. Ships and neuroamps being the exception. Quantum Synergies specializes in ship operating software. We don't consider them a major competitor since their product line is so narrow. If the two are meeting to work out a contract, that tells us Infinity must be looking to get into the ship business. And we'd like to delay that if we can. That's what we're hoping for. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergy's executive director, Zola Adisa, and our financial manager, Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. I suppose I can give you a brief rundown. We'll start with Zola. Zola is a born and bred executive. It runs in the family, so she's highly accustomed to an upper-class lifestyle. She's a narcissist who's also obsessed with public perception, both of her and quantum synergies. She wants to be associated with the latest and greatest, so she's drawn to innovation and quality. She's considered it. But she's next in line to be CEO over at Quantum. If she right. came here, she'd have to deal with stiff competition. As for her talking points, the key things to remember are Infinity is the cheap version of Ryujin. They're a follower, not a leader, and they lack any sense of clear vision. Infinity has struggled with leadership and turnover for a long time now. Lucas Drexler is probably the fifth CEO they've had in the past few years. Plus, it's hard to keep good employees when much better corporations who will pay more are out there. They've launched several, but none survive long. Nothing that would be as big as neuroamps or grab drives. That's why they've taken to just following whatever trends companies like Ryujin set. If they can't make money off ingenuity, they can certainly sell someone a cheaper version of a more expensive product they may want. Infinity LTD's strategy to make money is to cut cost on quality. You can compare any one of our products to theirs and see it almost instantly. Low-grade synthetics, flimsy thin materials, high energy usage, they issue at least one or two recalls a year. Just remember, you can refer to the dossier at any time as a refresher. Now, on to Arthur Cruz. Arthur is a self-made man, and he prides himself on that. He's a full package, having both an extremely good knack for numbers and knowing how to talk mm -hmm. to people. As Quantum Synergy's financial manager, he's all about driving profit with as little risk as possible. He makes decisions based on facts and heavily researched trends. It sounds like the two of you could really hit it off. Arthur's a great talker, but even the best can lose an audience when finance is the topic. Talking points for Arthur are aimed at steering him toward Ryujin over Infinity LTD. 
Ryujin's profits are 25.7% higher than Infinity's, even with a superior quality product. Infinity's profits are fabricated. They're one audit away from ruin. We have a history of being financially secure that's never wavered. And we have the legal and marketing teams to handle anything that might threaten that. Quantum Synergies is the top name in ship OS. Their reputation has allowed them to keep the best engineers on their payroll. We can't deny that working with them would be beneficial for us, and Arthur is our best bet in making that happen. Besides, an open collaboration gives us easier access to information we'd otherwise have to find a more clever means of discovering. We keep an extremely close eye on our competition. Thanks to operatives like you, that information is almost always at our disposal. Sounds like we're mm. ready then. I'd still highly recommend reading the dossiers though. Sometimes bullet pointed statements can stick out in minds easier than conversation. Exactly. Those lines are most likely to sway Zola and Arthur away from Infinity. Not to mention give them a gentle nudge in our direction. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. <laughs> exactly. And that incompetence will be enough for them to further question this deal. Finally, I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? Got it. If you think you can do better, you're welcome to it. Just keep in mind, business attire is preferred. Club... Business executives aren't going to take advice from just anyone. Show up looking like an ebside street rat or mercenary for hire. I bet you are. Just remember to keep a low profile. Don't let the my first espionage mission. You too much. No, I won't. Right, that's fine. As technicians, we handle prep and post -op. All right, so have a look at this business suit they apparently gave me. Ten percent persuasion chance. Ooh, that's not easy to find. I hate being stuck in the office. Supply chain disruption. There's something fishy. I don't mean the smell. Hmm. Yeah.
Hmm. Okay, dossier area. Charismatic, friendly, just talk to people, stick to the facts and details. Driven by far credits and how to use this accounts. Financial security is everything. Okay. Okay. I think I get it. Let's talk to Let's talk to Zoe the first. She seems to, she seems like a difficult one. To impress, here on business, or just out to escape. I could tell from the look of that suit, you are dressed to impress. I doubt the people we are meeting will look half as good. Ryujin Industries. A good guess since we are here in Neon, but no. Infinity LTD. Risky, you say. By all means, enlighten me. Cuts corners. If they are sacrificing quality, be sure we will uncover it. We are a trusted business and would never partner with another company that may jeopardize our reputation. Their instability was cited as a pain point, but one we could deal with as long as we maintained control of all joint projects. However, upheaval always comes with its own series of issues, delays, morale, public perception. And Drexler has yet to prove he can provide the consistency that I would prefer. Perhaps it really is more than I'm willing to undertake. A surprising conversation. And one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. I suppose the old saying, never judge a book by its cover, is appropriate here. My high school and persuasion is helping a lot here. <laughs> so it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. And Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single notch. The man knows how to run a business. Well, I take that as a compliment. Coming from someone as well-dressed as yourself, you either got great taste or great connections. Yep, there Maybe we go. Maybe even both. Tell me, you don't happen to work for Infinity LTD, do you? No, I don't have uh, anything so. against Infinity, I take it. I'd love to hear your reasons why. That's an awfully big claim to make. You'd have to have some inside details on their operation. However, it does match some of my own research Sorry. that I've been conducting into their finances. Aren't you the resourceful one? That number tracks with the insider details I've been getting. Hmm, interesting. Look. Damn, those like dossiers really did help. I quite enjoyed our little talk. But it sounds like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around. And maybe next time I'll be doing business with you. 
And now to fuck up the presentation. I see you wearing that neural app. Don't try and have that mind of yours this time. Oh, do I have to break in? Oh, nope, there we go. Scan. Nope, I do. Fun. I have to break into somewhere that Bayou, Bayou owns. That's not uh, owns. That's not risky at all. Oh shit, I probably should actually close the door again so people so they don't think it's tampered with. It's the little details that matter, innit? This is a nice suit though, I will admit. It's like white, but it's also like kind of got the colourful bits. I do like the dancer replacer I have. Welcome to the Astro Lounge. Hi Dan, what do you need? Oh no, it was, no, there was, a, it was the Astral Lounge replacer that I didn't want to mess with. Pretty sure. I've always had the Neon it. Entertainer replacer. This is Hamza. Then I will remind you that the schedule exists for a reason. If time is money, then suffice to. You may have a point. And since you clearly have bandwidth to spare, maybe you can help me clean up a. Um, this is the guy that I was going to help anyway. As you say. Let me give you some background. Recently, I've been a I pay for the occasional meal, clinic visit, or come. I need you to look. Reassignment intel for one of our operatives. The contents oh, themselves no. aren't too sensitive, so if you're thinking of betraying me, they aren't worth much as leverage. My sloppiness is simply an embarrassment that I'd like to correct. I'll be the judge of that. Then we have an agreement. Good. Good. Discarded items are her specialty. So well she may have come across the slate herself. If you can manage to find it, bring it back to me. And I will pay you for the time. Until next time. A gala at the new Atlantis Free Star Embassy. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? You're a natural, and I'm not just saying that because I hired you. The Astral Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's box, most junior level ops would start to show their cracks. Overall, not bad for your first high-profile assignment. 
You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. It's well deserved. Just keep making me look good, and there'll be more where that came from. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments, and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. Your next assignment is to remind a competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation. We like to think of it as tough love. Not quite. When you uploaded that virus onto Keltcorp's network, that was a warning intended to slow down their internal productivity. Keltcorp suffered the effects of that silently, yeah. although I guarantee they endured some serious client complaints. This assignment is about making our target look completely negligent in the public eye. Let's just say we don't tolerate theft or smear campaigns against us. If you want to steal in this industry, you better not get caught. And if you want to tarnish our good name, you better be ready for repercussions. Exactly. A very valuable lesson that they will hopefully learn from. Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment mm -hmm. is to plant an ARC device. The ARC will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. ARC stands for Assault, Reprogram, Corrupt. We think of it as a multi-tool of sorts. The ARC locates hard wiring and manipulates the information current being sent back and forth. Depending on the situation, it's designed to do all sorts of things, but inevitably, they all result in malfunction. You can call it what you like, but most importantly, it's your next assignment. Nice to see you don't need any extra motivation. Not all of our operatives are thrilled with the idea of these assignments. And I know you've heard this before, but take care to not get caught. We don't want to give any room for authorities to suspect foul play. Hey, Dan, I've got something. You seem quite happy after that first phone call, I was smiling. There's something fishy going on here, and I don't mean the smell. Oh yeah, I need to put my suit back on. Alright. You sounded quite, quite, quite happy after the first phone call, and it was making me smile. <laughs> like you, you sounded really cheerful. My shift goes long again. Hmm. <laughs> Nice.
Awesome. Yeah. You did sound really happy. <laughs> I think it might have been a combination of the phone call when you finally got your coffee. <laughs> oh, Hope Tech's been. Hope Tech's been trashing Ryujin. Interesting. It is interesting that their workstations are inside, like, decommissioned ships. Yo! Hey, um. Hello. What's going on with Ah, oh, you got that issue. Ah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, we've got that beat. We keep getting that issue in the staff toilet at work. Just doing my head in. Oh, in that case, 
There you go. Did not know that. Yeah. I've had, I think, five. But to be fair, I've had a lot of viewers today. Today's been a good stream. Fucking hell. Hey there. Got an update for me? Wow. 24. Now I get to let the in-office team know that the ball is in their court. Depending on their instructions, they can use the remote access to do anything from equipment failure to massive explosions. In the case of servers, it could be gross information leaks, a hardware failure, basically whatever might hurt their public perception the most. Oh, and you still don't have a job yet, do you? No. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing healthcare in the UK is free. Good. I'll let our techs know everything is in place. Now, on to the next, right? Oh, but before I forget, the results of